Ladies and gentlemen, with much fanfare, one of the best welterweight free agents in the world has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. Enter Michael Venom Page, realized a lot of success in other big shows, but most fighters eventually want to test themselves in the UFC. That was the goal for Michael Venom Page. Outstanding striker, a finisher, really in all realms of mixed martial arts. But there are a lot of interesting stylistic challenges for him in this UFC welterweight division. And the opposition tonight's going to be trying to take this man down. But Michael Venom Page, with that infectious smile on full display, has finally arrived in the UFC. Shadow Gary in the big show. He came to the UFC in 2021 as the Cage Warriors champion, and he has done nothing but live up to, if not exceed, the hype. Neil Magny, Daniel Rodriguez, Gabriel Green among the high level scouts on his resume. But now the challenges get stiffer, and there are a lot of people that still want to knock in the Shadow Gary. They want to tap into his personal life, they want to question the commitment. The man's committed, of that I can assure you, and now training out of Brazil under Diego Lima, he is ready to show the world that he is the best at 170 pounds. All right, both fighters have entered the octagon, and this massive, massive fight is nearly upon us, ready to go from Anaheim at the Honda Center with one of the biggest fights of the year. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. inside the octagon. All right, here we go with round one featuring one of the best recent welterweight signees, Michael Venom Page. And for an athlete like this, he would not have enjoyed his retirement nearly as much if he didn't try to chase a few wins in the UFC. This will always be the greatest proven ground in all of mixed martial arts. And MVP, Michael Venom Page, out to prove that his game will absolutely translate at the highest level of the sport. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Forward and take down. Circling towards the left now. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Right we cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, man, another nice leg kick is there. Effective use of the jab there by Page. Protect your face. 
Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Well, missed on that one. Machado carries limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. And he lands that side kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. 15 seconds. Round two straight ahead. Great job, Batman. You're taking deep breath. Nice job. How do you feel? That's right. You look amazing. Now you should smell blood. You almost had him out this time. I want you to keep him. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, nice hook by Machado Gary. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Work, work, come on, work. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice job by him defensively there. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Under a minute now to go. That was a big check. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. <laughs> Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 
nice jab by Machado Gary. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the can. All right, take a seat. Deep breath. Slow that heart rate. Awesome. Your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last... That flying knee to the head landed. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Ooh, the head kick lands. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Big right hand there. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Able to block the punch there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, nice jab by Ian Machado Garrett. Big power shot there. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another to employ. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, how clean is that jab by Gary? Straight punch. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Page. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Both guys appeared to land there. Final seconds of the round. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight.
Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab there by Ian Machado Garrett. Rip the body there. Under three minutes to go in round four. Need some work, guys. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Block that one. That is a damaging kick that lands. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, two strike lands there. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those. Oh. Both tough. Both durable. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Page gets back up. Oh, let's get the oh. Oh. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, he misses with the left punch there. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. All right, there's the horn, so the round is over, but not before the fighter sustained that cut on his forehead. We'll see if the cut man can close it up and prevent it from becoming an issue here into the latter rounds. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants ready, to get the desired finish. Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Machado Garrett. Just misses with the left. Very badly. Gary gets hit flush with that overhand, and that one hit hard. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Massive body kick land. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Perfect execution on that team. Oh, nice. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting. Oh, he's hurt. Beautiful spinning kick lands. Hands up, hands up. Gary gets hit with that overhand. 
start too, John. You know, he's tired too. I know he goes hard. He doesn't show it. You know, it's like playing poker. But he's just as tired. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. And just misses with that big right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Twenty seconds to go. Hands high. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of